Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. John, chapter 5, verses 31 to 47. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's, the works that the Father gave me to accomplish. These works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who has sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you, because you do not believe in the one whom he sent. You search the scriptures, because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf. But you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you have believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Out of the many incredible and confident ways Jesus carries himself, one exemplary depiction we come across today is his transparency and straightforwardness when he speaks about fulfilling the will of the God the Father. Jesus is not doing it for the praise of others, and is not lifted up nor put down by the absence of it. Even when he is criticized and rebuked, There is no defensiveness and ego involved, rather a genuine concern and focus on his mission from the Father. So what is the mission from the Father? I believe it boils down to what God the Father said to Jesus during his baptism at the Jordan River. This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. As well as uh, we are all sons and daughters of God, The unalterable truth that God loves us and is well pleased with our being is something that holds true for all eternity. And it is our job to remember this because there is nothing that we can do that will cut us off from God's love other than our own decision to do so. So regardless of where we find ourselves in life, let us never forget that God always desires to be close to us and all we need to do is allow Him to love us. Thank you for listening to today's gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and loving day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marinolmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.